So do you guys want power? Well, that's what I have for you today. The five most powerful cars in this game. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So this top five consists of raw power alone. Yeah, top speed is determined by weight as well, hence why this isn't a top five fastest. Although these are some of the fastest cars in the game also. But this list consists of tarmac eating straight line monsters. So let's get into the list, people. So in at number 5 with 755 brake horsepower is nothing other than the Herrera Outlaw GTS. And wow this is one to look at. Fits Night City down to a T, well depending on what part you're in I guess. Now this is a car you've probably seen on my channel in the past as it's one I'm quite fond of. And this car will unlock for you to purchase upon you hitting a street grid level of 30 and have your presence known in Corporal Plaza. It will cost you 62k eddies and where you'll be able to pick it up from you can see on the screen now. But this all wheel drive and straight line boat is something I guarantee you will enjoy driving. Okay so next up and only 22 bhp more than the last we have the Quadra. Type 66 Avenger. So this one, as its name suggests, has 777 brake horsepower. And while it looks utterly amazing, it's kind of like an American muscle car cross Batmobile. So this car will become available upon you hitting a street cred level of 20 and have your presence known in Corporal Plaza. And this will require you to pay 55k edits to own this thing, but in my opinion, it's worth every penny. So this beast rocks a real-wheel drive system and weighs in at £3,858. So quite a chunk still, but still an amazing drive. Okay, so next up guys and coming in at 950 bhp is the Rayfield Air and Diet Guinea Ver, I believe that's pronounced. This one is just beautiful and I'm sure you will agree. And from this list, it's the last one that will become available to you as you don't unlock this to purchase until you hit a street cred level of 50 and have your presence known in North Oaks. And this will cost you 225k eddies making it the most expensive car on this list too and I believe in the game. But it's definitely worth it in my opinion. With its rear wheel drive system and weight just over £4,000, this one likes to swing its back end out, so take it easy around the corners. But it is an amazing looking car, I'm pretty sure you will agree on that. Okay, so next up people we have this 1000 bhp monster it's called the quadra type 66 javelina so this one's obviously built upon the type 66 we've already featured today but this one just much more powerful now although i wouldn't say it's as quick as the first less powerful car we covered this is based on but this one has much much more to offer it has better handling it's better off-road and well in my opinion it's better overall probably besides its looks so to unlock this one for purchase you need to be a street cred level of 30 and have your presence known in the Badlands and this one will cost you 73k edits. So go and get this thing people, with its all wheel drive system and weighing just over £4,000 this thing is a beast on and off road. Okay, so lastly, and towering in at 1660 bhp is nothing other than a Rayfuel Caliburn, a car based no doubt on the Bugatti Veyron. 
and well it fits amazing so this car i will mention you can get for free at any time you want and i've covered this in a previous couple of videos but to unlock it so you can buy it from a fixer you need to have a street cred level of 40 and your presence known in downtown it will then unlock for you to buy costing 157k edits but this one comes in a much much better color than the one you can get for free so this car also has an all-wheel drive system and weighing only 3,682 pounds so its power to weight ratio is definitely the best I've seen in the game too. So whatever you do guys, whether you pick this up for free or purchase it, you will not regret owning this monster. And there we have it guys, the 5 most powerful cars in this game. But to be honest, I still rather drive my little rally car about. And on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.